Hello and welcome to Ben's Addiction. This car has the M272 engine and it's shared between SL class, E class, C class, ML class and even S class. The last time I parked my car over here in the garage, it was almost 2-3 months ago. And today I took it for a test drive and a check engine light came on. Basically, this car was fault free 6 months ago when I last scanned it. This is what happened when I diagnosed the car using a scanner. We have like 50 fault codes. The first screen we have many many fault codes to count and then some more over here and basically 17 modules has at least one fault code. And when we go to the DTC list, uh, you see that most of these fault codes are stored ones and these should not scare you off. You see, I can say 80% of these fault codes and even more are stored fault codes and can be uh, cleared off. For example, air conditioning fault codes or parktronic system fault codes. I know one of my uh, parking sensors faulty, the rear one. But what is important over here, the one that has check engine light on, stored and current. The malfunction of secondary air injection, that's very important. And we see the check engine light is the reason for these two fault codes. And basically, these two are referring to the same component. And then again, we have uh, this one, which caused the check engine light temporarily to come on, and then it is stored. So basically, we can clear this one. This was a momentary fault code that can happen to any vehicle that uh, was not scanned and cleared off in the past six months. This is the situation with this car. It's been uh, running on and off. There is nothing really major except the secondary air injection. So let's check this out and see what's happening here. So if you take the engine cover off from any Mercedes M112, M13, M271 and M272 engine. You'll see this uh, air injection pump. This is a secondary air injection pump. And basically these are the outlets uh, to the exhaust manifold. There are two of them because you've got two banks, bank one, bank two. And this is the inlet tube that gets the air from the air filter box. This is the plug, the connector. There's only two pins. So basically not a very uh, complicated system. So of course there is the solenoid that is important uh, to provide the vacuum to open and close these uh, valves or ports. This is computer operated. So what is the fault now? So in order to check the uh, secondary air pump, I have covered this in a separate video six months ago and I have lots of views on that. Basically this P0410 is uh, a very uh, common problem with Mercedes uh, engines. But it's not always the fact that the system is faulty. Sometimes you need a little push for this secondary air injection pump to go on again. Just like this case over here. So what happened over here and I was not filming. So in order to test this, uh, you need to push on the connector. There are two tabs and it's hard to show when it's in place. This is the connector. You need to push on the tabs like that and pull it out. And then we put it aside because we don't want to test that side of the equation. There are two pins over here. What I did, I applied my multimeter. And if I can show you with one hand, almost one ohm of resistance, which is okay for a secondary air injection pump. But actually what we want to see is a secondary air injection pump in action. So I applied power to the secondary air injection pump and it was not working for some reason, it was stuck. So I kept uh, applying power and switching the positive and negative side. And suddenly it started working. For some reason, the propeller uh, or the fan or whatever you want to name it was stuck. And that was the whole reason. So basically when I started the engine last time, the ECU recognized this uh, getting stuck as a fault code and uh, throw a check engine light. But now, if I test this again 
uh, and I can do this by removing this outlet port to check to see the fan action by pulling up on this just a little prying is needed here and that's it and put that aside and if I apply power let's do this so positive goes to the lower pin and this is how it blows air into the exhaust manifold in order to warm up the catalytic converters quicker so basically this secondary air injection pump has no problem and I'm pretty sure the solenoid is working as well so what I do I put everything back now that it sounds very healthy if I clear all the fault codes the stored ones see that there's basically no fault code left let's go ahead and start the engine and see if we have the check engine light on again No check engine light. Let's see if the uh, secondary air injection pump comes on. So as you can see it's running perfectly and the check engine light is now off and that 40 or 50 fault codes that you noticed in the beginning of the video is gone so you should not be afraid of seeing the fault codes after running your car for a year or two or six months these might happen to Mercedes because of the many many uh, modules it has a small electrical glitch like low battery can cause significant amount of fault codes so don't be afraid to see this don't panic make sure to diagnose using a correct and good scanner and hopefully there will be nothing serious with these engines okay guys thanks so much for watching liking subscribing have a great day enjoy your mercedes bye So.